Go get your man. And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. So, Norb's case has been dismissed. Um, I got a couple of different things that I want to talk about. Uh, people have hit me up today. I spoke to a bunch of different folks today, whether it be different battle rappers, fans, people from URL. Y'all be thinking, see, the thing is, a lot of y'all love to think that I got beef, like we got beef. We don't have no beef. We work together. This is the absolute truth. We work together. I worked for them. I wasn't getting paid. I decided I needed to get paid and I found a way to. Now I pay other people that work for me. Sometimes, you know, it'd it be like that sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with deciding to make the decision that works best for you. And, um, you know, we have no beef. It is what it is. But let's talk about the case because the reason why I can speak from this perspective is because in 2016, about March or April, I was contacted by Norbs. What was I doing at the time? I was just a battle rap fan. I talked sh online and Chris and Bias's face group, different Facebook groups. I make a little video. I made a video one time called Is Charlie Clips Ruining Battle Rap? This is the time when Charlie Clips was just running around freestyling, losing all his battles and things like that. I had no channel or nothing. I put the video out, I did 5,000 views. Back then, almost eight, nine years ago, that's like doing 30 or 40 now, right? So, uh, I started blogging, I knew nothing about blogging. Norbs contacted me, asked me to get down with his team called The War Report. I ain't know nothing about it. I was like, all right, cool. I got down with The War Report, got in contact with P, started blogging, things like that. And, uh, you know, it took off. And I'm appreciative for all the opportunities that I ever had. Norbs, uh, he files a lawsuit against the URL. And it's for a partnership. And he's saying that in his lawsuit, that he was an equal partner and that they kicked him out the whip. And here's the thing, Norbs was always the fall guy for years and years and years. Every time something went bad, every time something went left, it usually went to Norbs. Everybody knew that. Like the niggas who was around knew that Norbs was the fall guy. Norbs was over the PGs. There is no clean hands in this situation. All these niggas have done some dirt in some way, shape, or another. You sound like but. you're still a crackhead. If y'all not gonna work together no more, to kick him out the whip, you kicked him out the whip, he left with nothing. So he felt his best gun was to sue you, right? Now, for you all, this is personal. Trust and believe, this was personal. There was not gonna be a settlement, there was not gonna be a, we give you this and you sign a little piece of paper saying you'll never speak about it and all they wanted to beat him. They wanted him to not win and not get anything out of the scenario. I did see the paperwork, um, I will read it, OTFMZ did put the paperwork out, and a bunch of other people did too, but I like to give credit to I saw put the paperwork out first. So uh, before we even get started, salute to It's Just Battle Rap, uh, Toxic AF clothing, they sent me, you know what I'm saying, a shirt, they sent me a hoodie, you know what I'm saying, like T-O-X-S-I-K-A-F on IG, you know what I'm saying, you make sure y'all check them out. Uh, salute to my man Dro, it's just Battle Rap Podcast. Um, so let's get back to the Norb story, right? So, like I said, Norbs is the one who found me. He introduced me to P, we started working together, we did the war report thing, you know, and I was working with him. And to be honest, like in a real quick synopsis, there was money being made. I'm on YouTube, I'm doing views, I'm making money. I asked, yo, I got my son was being born, I remember this too, and if I'm lying, I'm fine. I'll delete my channel if I'm lying. If they could prove it, but it ain't no lie being told me. I'm telling the truth. I said, yo, I got a kid on the way. I'm running around. I'm doing all this rap shit. I got to make some extra money. I'm working at the time, but I'm like, bro, I need to get paid. I'm doing all this. I'm not getting paid. Niggas told me no. I said, Hold on a minute, player. Said, yo, you're not, we're not going to pay you. I said, cool. I'm, well, I'm going to just do my blogs on my channel, and then um, we good. You don't have to pay me. I do it over here. You know what niggas told me? No. What kind of shit is here? They said, yo, you cannot blog on your own channel. If you blog on your own channel, you can't be associated with us no more. Which thing I said? Bam, 80,000. We about to hit 80,000. I'd rather do my own thing. I don't want no favor. I was, and we're going to get to that too because that messed up a lot of my relationships because I was such a great flexer. People thought I had money before I had it. But let, we'll get back to oh, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's the thing for me. I was good. Like, fuck it. 
I just do my own channel. I'm so glad 30 million views later, I followed my own accord and did my own channel because niggas wasn't going to pay me. And they was and a lot and niggas a lot of niggas that was around was cool with that. You know what I'm saying? They was cool with maybe we'll let you in an event sometimes. Maybe we'll let you hang out. Maybe you could be they was cool with that. I wanted more. I'm sorry. I wanted more. Sorry. It is what it is. But I seen a lot of the writing on the wall way in advance before this lawsuit even happened. Cuz I'm thinking if niggas not paying me, they definitely don't want to pay you. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Norbs, they got kicked out the whip. And I said, I tweeted this earlier. I said, I'll talk about the Norbs case being dismissed in a few. Remember, I don't have no dog in the fight. I'm not compromised. Don't need any favors. Don't work for no league. And that's just the way my content works. If you don't like it, don't watch it. I'm just, that's the best I can give you. So anyway, uh, Norbs and URL continue to work with each other, but they really didn't fuck with him. And they were basically waiting for the opportunity to kick him out the whip. Yes, while the shit with, you know, the baby mom twerk and all this other shit, yes, that shit was bad, but it's not the worst shit that's happened. There's, there's been other shit that's happened that nothing happened about. So they were looking for a reason to put him out. It was like, yo, we need to find a reason to get rid of him. When they found that reason, they made that statement, they put him out the whip. Now, Norbs was under the impression that it was a partnership and he couldn't, the lawyers couldn't prove it. His lawyers could not prove that it was a viable partnership between four parties or three parties. They couldn't prove it. Like, they couldn't prove, yes. So basically what his lawyers are saying is that, yo, we were equal partners, there's no agreement, it's just a verbal agreement. And it went all the way to the Supreme Court. The reason why I said, and I'll say it again, that no hands are clean is because you willing to, really, y'all niggas really was willing to take your man to court. Like, URL was willing to go to court with this nigga after he put 10 years in, basically saying, fuck you, we're not paying you nothing. I don't give a shit who you think you are. We ain't paying you and we, we just want you out. So for friends or quote unquote friends, there's no friends in this industry, you know what I'm saying? Like it really ain't. But for quote unquote friends to have to end at court is crazy. So, uh, North takes him to court, trial, the court case goes on for about a year. They go to the Supreme Court and now today it's been dismissed and he's getting nothing out of it. Um, I will read, like I said, I did see the paperwork and I will read through it right quick. Uh, you know, if you, uh, roll with me, you know what I'm saying? Let me read this. It says, Supreme Court of the United States, New York Appellate Division, First Judicial Department, right? It says, Dagberto Velez, also known as Street Star Norbs, plaintiff against Troy Mitchell, a.k.a. Smack White. And there was the defendants, right? So it says, let's just get right to it. Order Supreme Court County Barry Ostringer entered October 18th, 2021, which the extent appealed from as limited by briefs granted defendants motion to dismiss with prejudice the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 6th, 10th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th causes of action in the amended complaint unanimously affirmed without cause. Defendants established their entitlement to dismissal of the amended complaint. The new allegations of an oral partnership agreement are effectively the same as the original, as the ones originally pleaded, and thus do not remedy the pleading deficiencies that the Supreme Court identified in its March 23rd, 2021 order. The motion to dismiss the original complaint and order from which plaintiff did not appeal. Drawn verse Roka 193 says plaintiff's failure to adequately plead that he and the individual defendants, his alleged partners, shared the burden of losses from the defendant Ultimate Rap League is fatal to the claim of the partnership agreement as mutual promise to share profits and losses as an indispensable element of the claim. It says we reject the plaintiff's contentions that in the amended complaint, he has adequately pleaded a partnership claim by alleging that he and the defendants not only share profits and losses equally, but did so by alleging specific events whereby the parties shared in profits and losses. The paragraphs of the amended complaint he cites to the extent they mention losses do not allege an agreement for sharing losses. Rather, the amended complaint merely alleges in a manner as conclusory as in the original complaint. The parties share profits and losses on an equal basis. These allegations fall short. 
Because the amended complaint did not adequately allege an oral partnership agreement, the causes of the action that rely on a partnership agreement were also properly dismissed. Namely, the causes of action for wrongful dissolution, count one, breach of oral joint ventures or partnership, count five, breach of an implied covenant of good faith and fair dealing, count six, equitable accounting, count 10, uh, declaratory relief, determine existence of partnership, count 13, declaratory relief, dissolution by decree of the court, count 14, declaratory relief, plaintiff's rights to the partnership property, count 15. In addition, we affirm the dismissal of the conversion, count 12, which is identical to the cause of action originally pleaded and was dismissed by the March 23rd, 2021 order. Defendants also established their entitlement of dismissal causes of action for misrepresentation counts two and three as the plaintiff has not pleaded with adequate specificity the statements from those which claims arose basically all this is saying the claims that Norbs was not a partner in URL his lawyers I know a lot of people are saying he got his lawyers from Groupon his lawyers are still in law school his lawyers are his lawyers do it I get it but from what the paperwork is saying is that a lot of these, a lot of this case was dismissed almost a year ago. So it's what it was happening is he, his lawyers reclaimed, refiled and retried to adjust. And every time they tried to adjust to make it seem or make his claim stronger, the lawyers that the URL had was basically shooting it down. And his case was just getting dismissed and dismissed. And now it's to a point where the paperwork is actually coming out. Uh, the final letter sentences say, to the extent of the instances cited, they are using the word partner and partners by third parties or the plaintiff himself. So Norm's thought he was a partner. Them niggas obviously didn't. Quite obviously, there was a lot of conversation that was going on behind the scenes. A lot of, you know, cutting him out of deals, cutting him. That's what I'm saying. Like, these niggas, <laughs> they was never friends to begin with. Like... If that's your man, and you getting bread or you get into the bag, they just, they, they, like, Norbs was carried on long enough to where when they started getting involved with caffeine, they started taking it to the next level. You know, I remember conversations where I was told specifically, right, yo, we about to go over, we going to the next layer, you know what I'm saying, you're not over here, and it is what it is. And I was told that specifically. But being over here meant not being paid, so I'd rather go over there. I'd rather make $100 a month on my own than work for another nigga for free. I know there's some of y'all that can never understand that or would never understand that, but when you, like, they have all this outside, I'm outside, I'm at every event, bro, niggas is not even getting paid. So for me, it didn't work for me. Like, I have to get paid for my work. And for me, it was never, we would never see eye to eye because that working for free, bro, I'm in my 30s. I'm out here just... Being a groupie, just going to all this battle rap shit, and you ain't getting no money. So for me, I had to get money. So when I say that I see the shit that Norbs had coming, like, and he's not absolved. Norbs is not absolved. He's guilty of a lot of fuck shit. Like, remember when Norbs went on that whole campaign? Oh, fuck the bloggers. The bloggers are sucking dick. Oh, they some ho He was talking about people like me. He wasn't talking about Chris. Chris was in jail at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't talking about him. He was talking about me specifically, but he wouldn't tell me to my face. He would just say it in things that he was saying. And the reason why he was doing that was because I didn't work for him anymore. I was like, yo, I'm just doing my own thing. Like, bro, if I do 10,000 views, I do 10,000 views. If I do 1,000 views, I'll do 1,000 views. And I just took my career into my own hand, bet it on myself, up, down, left, right, whatever happened, I'm good now. And now when I see stuff like this, it, I'm glad that I got away from niggas a long time ago because when I see stuff like this, it, it just tells me that, you know, it was who could snake the who could snake each other the, the worst, basically is what it was. Um, so Norms leaves this situation with nothing. Uh, and I don't know if he's gonna try to repackage it and try to redo a lawsuit, whatever the case may be. But I know for URL, this was personal. I spoke to URL. Trust me, y'all be like I said, y'all be thinking. They put this thing out there where they make you think that we have an issue. We don't have an issue. Now, do I get included in the, the tweets and am I fine? No, when, no, I'm not going to be included in that. But at the same time, I have some of the best recaps and they can try to act like that's not the truth. But we could go numbers for numbers. I do better than damn near everybody, the whole game. And I don't need no favors. I don't be around niggas and I don't want to be. So, um, 
when it comes to Norbs, it's like, you know, the way you went out of the game was kind of crazy, like getting beat up and it being on camera and niggas putting the video out. It kind of like put some 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 real stain in you. And I think that Norbs's lawyers, from what I heard, was actual battle rap fans. Like they like battle rap too. I don't know if that's the best combination to try to win a lawsuit of this magnitude when your lawyers are actual battle rap fans. Now, I know people are saying he didn't have good lawyers or his lawyers wasn't good. I won't say that. I will just say that they couldn't prove what they wanted to prove. They could not prove it. They couldn't prove it. You said you were a partner. You had a verbal. There's never a contract. There was. If he had one single piece of paper that said 25%, 25%, 25%, and they all signed and got it notarized, of course, he would have went to court. He would have won. There would have been, there wouldn't have been all of this. But he trusted them. They were supposed to be boys. That's not your boy. With friends like that, who needs enemies? They was never friends to begin with. Uh, now when P came around, you know, P was discovering a lot of talent. Like Norbs had his run. Norbs was working with Mickey Fax at one time. That's when a lot of the writers were coming in. The whole, the H.A. Doubles, the Super Writers, the Born, a lot of writers came around. When P came around, performance came around. A lot of performers came around. Uh, uh, who, Jerry West came into the game. Uh, Av, New Jersey Twerk, all these niggas that came around in that era was, was, was there during P era. They looking at it like, yo, P do better work than Norbs at recruiting niggas or finding new talent. That's when the whole DMV movement start. P lives in the DMV. That's when the DMV movement started. Jack Boy Maine, Glue Easy, Ryder. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas got found at the end of Norbs tenure. Now, like I said, is Norbs hands clean? Absolutely not. He did a lot of fuck shit. He would go to, he would get booked to be at events. I would get calls. Different people would get calls. Yo, your man's here and he's sleeping. Or he came here, said he was gonna release the footage, nobody's footage got released. And they paying you to be at these places, and your name is what's carrying you around. So if you're getting paid three, four, fi three figures, probably, you know, three, well, I'll say four, over a thousand, to be at a different city every week, and you're going from city to city trying to find talent and use this bullshit in people's time away, you know, and then, like I said, whenever something negative happened, it would always be on Norbs. There was like a fight in Kentucky one time where niggas was mad at him for whatever case may be, and then, it's just always with some shit. And they figured that it'd be easier for us to just cut the fat. Um, it said, OTFMZ, you know what I'm saying? They uh, they was the ones who put the paperwork out first. Uh, so I had to give them props. Their quote said, Norbs officially loses partnership claim against the URL and Supreme Court. This is the final appeal for this claim. We'll keep you posted on further details. Case is not over, but the partnership claim is dismissed. So. Like I said, I don't know if he's going to repackage it. We'll bring it back as another claim or whatever the case may be. But this first stanza in their drama back and forth was dismissed. Now, was it personal? Like I said, it was personal. They didn't want him to leave with nothing. They didn't want to set a lot of court. They didn't want to take him around the corner, break him off for 200 apiece, tell him never speak about it and go about his business. It was personal. It was. And as the money kept, more money kept being made, you got caffeine coming in, you got the URL app coming in. Like all of this shit, I heard when Norbs was like, this is how I tell you niggas was never your friends to begin with. When Norbs left URL, they gave him an app subscription. That's all they gave him to leave was an app subscription. And then once he sued them, they cut it off. These niggas was never friends. That's why I said, they, they was never, niggas didn't give a fuck about you. And Norbs had kids. I know he's got kids, he's married and shit like that, but niggas don't care about how your kids eat. I saw that shit. Back when I told you niggas that my son was being born and niggas told me I wasn't getting paid. I was like, niggas, there ain't no beef. I don't give a fuck. I'm not arguing with y'all. I'm not trying to beef with y'all. But I don't want to work with niggas who, who can see me having a child and not give a fuck about not getting paid. And that's probably one of the best decisions to, 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 to be independent was that I ever made. It was because, you know, it ain't no love loss. I don't got no hate for niggas, no animosity. But at the same time, niggas, you are useful in battle rap until you cannot be used. And then after that, you become useless, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I love the game, I do it, you know what I'm saying? The blog shit is fun, but I probably I won't do it forever, I know that, I'll probably move into some other shit because, uh, you know, it, like, you learn a lot of lessons from niggas. Like, you literally will learn that, like, yo, pff, niggas will tell you all oh, their family, family, man, they taught that shit, man, niggas will see you on your last, and niggas will be like, yo, you got that blog for me? You know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, 
it, it is, it is, it is kind of, I ain't gonna lie. If I think about it, I didn't think he would win. I really didn't. I never thought that his case was strong enough to win because these courts, the verbal, like, oh, we spoke about it, that's not going, that's going to be hard to hold up in Supreme Court. You got to have documentation. He knew that. You got to have some documentation. Listen, when shit started blowing up and the company started becoming a company, there should have been those conversations. Yo, we need to sit down. We need to get legal involved. We need to, if we partners, we need to sign some paperwork to avoid all of this. You got to avoid this. This can't be, you can't be wanting to go to the Supreme Court thinking that you're going to get helped out or bailed out. We're going to bail you out because y'all hung out together for 10 years or y'all hung out once a month, every other month for 10 years or y'all showed up to the same event. That doesn't mean you're partners, you know what I'm saying? And I think that he believed that he was an equal partner in the company, but they never, I was around, bro. They never treated that nigga like no equal partner. He would show up to events and have a hard time getting in. Like, niggas would literally show up to events and be standing outside like fans. Like, he would get into a lot of shit, but towards the end, when they had that event Genesis in Atlanta, he didn't get in there. That's how he got into the fight shit. They didn't let him straight in. If you're a partner in the company, there's no reason why you should be standing outside. And I, and I knew that he didn't have no pull like that. Because when I would pull up, he couldn't get niggas in. So I'm like, if this nigga's a partner, I know if I walk up here with Beasley, I'ma walk right in. If I walk up here with Smack, I'ma walk right in. With Chico too, I went to Unfinished Business. Was it a two on two shit? It was a two on two shit. It was in New York, the event was wild. It was live too. Chico was outside, I walked up, he knew who I was, I walked straight in. I said, oh, this nigga got the pull. Beasley and Smack got the pull. Norms don't got no pull. He cool, but he ain't got no motion. I fuck with him. I don't got no issue with him. But he don't got no pull like that. The nigga didn't have no motion. He couldn't be like, yo, y'all good, go in. Unless he was throwing the event himself. He had uh, Born Legacies at like Black Bear and smaller venues and shit like that. He, he, he had the motion to go, you get right in. But the big shit, Urban Plaza, all of that, nigga ain't have no motion. I was like, man, you, might, you better off by yourself. You better off buying your ticket because he can't do shit for you. He couldn't, you know? Because they didn't fuck with him like that. So in this scenario, uh, all parties involved take the L because if that was your man, you letting the nigga out the whip and he rocked with you for 10 years and you don't give him nothing, y'all niggas get the L for that. He gets the L for believing that y'all niggas was partners when y'all niggas wasn't. I get a W from getting away from niggas easily five years ago because I seen this type of shit. Like, if these niggas, if these are your niggas that's willing to tell you we not gonna pay you but we'll have you around, ha these are not your niggas. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's just so much to unpack here. Uh, you know, they doing their thing. Hopefully, Norbs is successful in life, doing whatever he's got going on. Uh, the URL continues to move. They're doing what they're doing. They're continuing to throw events, and, you know, they beat the case. But I, I, I was told that this was personal. They definitely wanted to get a victory in this partnership claim. And now Norbs cannot no longer say he's a partner. I know he was doing his own... Uh, Norbs at all podcasts and things like that, but you know, it's not really, it ain't really booming like that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's real hard to keep a battle, like battle rap fan base when you got so much shit going on with uh, URL. Like how you gonna blog about the events? How you gonna blog about what they got going on? And you know, you don't fuck with them and they don't fuck with you either. So uh, could it have ended differently? Of course it could have ended differently. But I will say this, man, in this game, once you start getting notoriety, people start knowing who you are, your name start buzzing and shit like that, ego gets involved. And when ego gets involved, pride is the devil, you know what I'm saying? Niggas will not put their pride aside or their ego to resolve shit. Should it have ended differently? Of course it should have ended differently. But this is the end that you got. Uh, basically, Norbs loses the partnership, and it is what it is. Gang, gang.